drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hello friends this is manoj prani i welcome you all on behalf of the edupedia world in this particular presentation i'll again go with some of the fascinating topics in order to make you understand a few more things relating to the audit of membership stock exchange so come and sit at the edge of your chairs fasten up your seat belts we're about to take off with the first topic of the day and that will be those different margins so i basically promised you up that i'll be like covering the types of margins completely in my next tutorial so here it's in front of you so before going with the mark to market margin i just want to tell you something briefly about gross exposure margin so guys gross exposure margin as the name suggest in itself gross exposure margin basically is computed on the aggregate of the net cumulative outstanding position if i'll talk about the entire amount of purchase or if i'll talk about the entire amount of sale because why it says it's gross gross exposure margin of each security so each exchange basically determines its own rate of gross exposure margin and based on the kind of risk perception of that market they take up those things and each and every kind of other risk containment measures are being done such as deposits collaterals are being taken off there in their position so that's what is being done in cross exposure margin that is number 1 number 2 is a mark to market margin that is the same thing which is available right in the front of your eyes so mark to market margin is one of the great kind of question which is usually being asked again and again in ce final examinations as well this question was even asked in ce final examination for may 2012 so what is it all about let uh, let's understand mark to market guys is basically simply if i'll talk about mostly it's a kind of a thing which is usually used in futures and options so let's suppose you went into the market and you asked for buying the future of reliance shares let's say 100 share for 100 rupees okay now what happens is tomorrow the share price goes for 105 okay you bought the same at 100 now the price is 105 so are you in a better position or not absolutely you are so you are a better position as compared to yesterday you bought something for 100 now you can sell it off if i like hypothetically assume you can simply sell it off at rupees 105 you'll be getting a gain of rupees 5 in that case so what's going to happen is you will be like getting the same thing into your margin why because the other person who has with whom you have did the transaction there is a possible chances that he may go away some day so what's going to happen is as per the cbi guidelines it is recommended and mandatorily recommendation is just not the right word so it is being mandatorily complied with a kind of a thing wherein if in case that 5 rupees margin is done so you need to mark to market each day that margin that 5 rupees will be like added into your kitty though you will not be able to receive the same all it's going to be done is it will be like credited in your account okay and next day if in case that 105 goes again to let's say 90 now what's going to happen is now you are not in a better position you are into some kind of position where wherein you'll be like incurring some amount of loss so that amount will be like deducted from your mark to market margin account as well so this is going to happen for the entire period those 3 months future or let's say 2 months future or 1 month future depending on the time of that future it's going to happen daily day in day out so each day mark to market margin will be like covered and if it gets your mark to market margin goes beyond that break break even level which is being like usually set up by that stock market exchange so in that case your broker is going to call you up and he'll ask you kindly refill your margin why because it's been going down and down and down and it has reached to its threshold limit now we can't afford uh, to allow you to go on trading beyond this point so you need to add margin why because we need to take care and safeguard the interest of other investors as well who are on the other side of the table so that's why it is being used so in order to cover that notional loss which is a member of which is a which member or his client would incur if in case the net cumulative outstanding transactions in all the securities are closed out at a closing price of the relevant trading day which is different from the transaction price that means 105 is different from 100 and even 90 is different from 100 so all you need to do is you need to cover that notional loss that is why it is being come into the picture now if i'll talk about the computation part so how it is being computed for any kind of security 
then it come it is computed on a two phase basis so one is buy position another one is sell position so what's happening in the buy position is let's suppose you actually traded at a price of let's say 100 rupees so you'll be dividing the closing price of the day out of the same and you'll be like multiplying it with your cumulative buy position that is the number of shares you'll get it so again 105 less 100 so you are better off by a rupees 5 5 into let's say 100 number of shares so you'll be having a buy position of 500 now so that is that will be included in your kitty by your account basically so you won't be receiving the same but that will be included in order to understand that are you in a favorable position or not if i talk about the selling position so now you are like already sold something for let's say 100 rupees okay but the actual trade price currently going on is 105 now again there is a problem why because you have already ensured that you'll be selling something for 100 though the current price for the same is 105 so you are selling something to another person at a price lower than the market price now you are in a bad position you are certainly under a position which is not favorable to you so the closing price 105 less 100 into 100 number of shares so that's why i can say that you are not in a better off position in that case and finally that concluded with a kind of payment at the last day three months time or maybe two months or one month depending on the time that you'll be exercising that option or future so the aggregate amount which is so computed across all the securities is the mark to market margin which is payable by the member it is payable with reference to the net position at the client's level at the end and that's how it's being done objective is to cover that notional loss how do we compute it that's simply available in front of you i made you understand with the kind of examples as well and finally you need to make the payment lastly at the in order to include with the net position at the client's level this question has been like asked multiple times one of the favorite question of the examiner one of the favorite margins to be asked for i hope you guys got the complete clarity with respect to the scene shall we proceed guys perfect let's move towards the next topic and that will be the volatility margin so now comes volatility margin which is uh, this is a question which has been like asked again in a multiple times uh, ca final examination for may 2013 also included this question in its paper so why uh, volatility margin let's understand that what's the objective so volatility by the name it suggests volatility is basically some kind of excessive fluctuation okay something is not volatile okay something is volatile something is not volatile so basically in order to curb that excessive fluctuations that excessive volatility in the market this margin is being asked for in order to act as a deterrent to build up of the excessive of outstanding positions let's suppose you bought something for rupees 100 okay and you bought for like 100 shares for those 100 rupees now the thing is now your price is going down 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 and down it's going down each day it's gonna be a position wherein you need to sell that thing okay now so you occupied that particular thing you procured it for rupees 100 it's going down each day and finally it settled at a price of let's say 20 rupees what's gonna happen is are you like seriously going to sell it off for rupees 20 i don't think so what if tomorrow we run away you procure something but that's not available in the market or i should say better you sell off your position in that a case and now it's the time that you actually surrender your securities but you didn't so what's going to happen is in order to act as a deterrent in building up of that excessive kind of outstanding position at the last which needs to be knocked off this volatility margin is basically going to help in order to protect the interest of investors in order to curb that excessive volatility and in order to act as a deterrent for building up that excessive outstanding positions so guys if i'll talk about volatility so it's a price of a security which is existed to compute the volatility when the securities are being faded x the benefits and these are the situations which are going to get determined by adjusting the price variations on account of calls bonuses right shares mergers amalgamation scheme of arrangements all these things now coming to the rates point so what's going to happen is guys on the last day of the trading cycle the last the securities that attract the volatility margin and the applicable margin rates will be like announced for the succeeding trading cycle so it happens this is a procedure which is a standard one which is being followed by each and every kind of stock exchanges and what's going to happen is finally levy so a volatility margin is going to be levied on all those net outstanding positions of the members in each security based on their respective margin rates so that's going to happen in case of volatility margin i hope you are very much clear with the kind of objective why it's being done and how it's being done in this particular case and how levy is done perfect guys 
let's move towards the next topic but before moving on to that i must tell you something about the special margin and ad hoc margin as well so what's going to happen in special margin is special margin as the name suggests it is being collected on the securities where price manipulation is suspected now i must tell you about a incident why this special margin was introduced first time so it was it happened to be a situation in the scenario of harshad mehta case i guess most of the people around this who are like watching my video will be like aware of this person harshad mehta he was a person who during his time what happened is there was abnormal kind of changes did happen in the stock market at a holistic kind of level okay so prices were like booming like anything okay and then they fall like anything and there were many people who who felt like matlab like like I, i must tell so many people were there who suffered so many losses into that situation okay and the problem was many people did went bankrupt this was the margin which was initially introduced during that one of time in order to ensure that nothing of that sort going to going to happen in the future as well special margin is something which is being collected on those securities those stock prices wherein price manipulation is suspected at a very huge level now if i'll talk about ad hoc margin so ad hoc margin is collected where it is felt that the margin cover that if i'll talk about the margin cover the kind of exposure of the member is inadequate or if you see that since that same amount is inadequate so you need another margin for that okay or the member has a concentrated position in some securities or a member has common clients along with other members as well so this is why a dog margin is usually being asked for so if i'll talk about special margin and a dog margin all these type of different margins that i told you up complete the list in itself one cross exposure margin then comes mark to market margin then comes volatility margin then comes additional volatility in order to increase the volatility margin and cover the backing up for them and followed up with special margin and ad hoc margin i am sure that you guys got the complete clarity with respect to all these margins as well perfect guys that kind of hope and belief on you guys i'll be saying thank you on behalf of the edupedia while keep interacting with our questions queries and youtube comment boxes i will love to answer each one of your queries and grievances stay connected guys and if in case you like our video do give us a thumbs up and a positive response so that we can provide you awesome videos like as usual stay connected that will help us in understanding on each way 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 better i'll say thank you with this love you all god bless i'll see you in the next presentation